Hey, this is Nick, and I've got a new Excel template for you. How many times are you trying to organize an event, a trip with your friends, an occasion with your family, a meeting with your coworkers, where you just go like, hey, what, what day are you available for this meeting? Or what day can we go on this trip? I don't know. Let me check. And What day are you available? And you're just trying to, to figure out what day to have your event or meeting. That's just a lot of confusion. Well, there's a lot of online tools you can find to help with that. I used to use something called Doodle, where you can put in the days and then you can send out this invite and everybody and say what days they're available or not. And it, that was okay for a while, but a problem, with, and there's other online tools like this uh, that you can use as well. But the problem that I find with those is they're not always free, or at least not all the features are free. A lot of them are behind paywalls. You have to sign up for an account and they seem to always be changing them too. Like, so they're, they're not consistent and you'll have to figure out how to use them. And it's, they're just kind of a pain. So I decided to do what I always do and said, instead of using somebody else's service, I'm just going to make an Excel template for that. So this is my meeting scheduler template. Uh, if you can think of a better name, let me know in the comments. The, the purpose of this is to, ease, to be easily figure out which day works the best for your event or meeting. If you've used my Super Bowl squares template, this uses a lot of the similar macros and concepts. So when you first open this up, it's pretty. Cl I wanted to make it as clean as possible with as at least amount of stuff showing. So there's a couple other sheets hidden here. So I'm just going to show you quickly how this works. Uh, first thing is you want to decide using these option buttons: um, is your event only on a weekday, only on a weekend, or both? So let's say this. I want to say we're going to subject is um, my daughter's birthday party. So we want to decide which day works for everyone to go to the jump park. Uh, so you don't have to type these in, but this is, you see there's going to be a, you're going to be able to send out an email uh, to the participants and that the subject of the email will come from here. So we're going to say weekends only. And we need to put the number of participants, the max number of participants, so it can handle up to 100. Um, so there's some error hand handling built into the, to these macros. If you try to generate now, it says you got to enter it first. So we use this drop down list. Let's say I'll have up to maybe 15 family members who are going to reply. So if I try this hit again, I need to enter a start date. So you have to put in a, a range of dates, and they can be up to one year. Um, but it, it would take forever to someone, I think, go through and <laughs> select every day for a year. So that's not really realistic. But let's say her birthday is next month. So again, I have to put an end date in. So let's say it's 5 1. I don't know what days so are, but let's just put, put a month in there. So I have my start date and end date. So the the way the spreadsheet works, it's it's built for it to have up to 100 people in 365 days, and then by putting these limits in here, it's going to condense the spreadsheet down and into a smaller portion to work with. So I hit generate schedule, and boom. Here are all the weekends between the two dates that I entered, and here's where the person's going to put their name in and their email. So if I want to send this out to people, I click this link. And it makes, uh, it composes an email with the subject from the first sheet. Hey, everyone, I've initiated a poll. And then here's a link to the spreadsheet. So they can, when they click it, they'll fill it out. It'll bring them to the spreadsheet here. So you put your name in, your email, and you'll see I have the cell set up. It's where you can. It'll only allow an email address to be entered here. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So then these are all drop downs. So you decide which days, like I'm I'm available this day, but not this day, this day, uh, maybe might work. It could be a better day, yes. And you can see at the bottom it's adding these up. So I'll put another one. email address in there. Uh, yeah, I can do that day. So 
So, um, so now, like, if, if there were only two people, you'd easily see, oh, this is the day that works best. So you can go back to the setup sheet, and then they'll actually tell you, here's the top three days. So four, two works best. There's two yeses. So there's supposed to be 15 people invited. Only two have responded, so that's 13%. Uh, let's say that those were the only two responded, so let's email them the result. Puts their emails right in the subject line, or right in the two line. The subject now says we decided a date, and here's the best date that works is this date. So that makes it really super easy to figure out which day works best for your event or meeting, and it even composes the emails for them. So as I always say, one of the things I like about templates is looking at other people's and dissecting them and figuring out uh, you know different tips and tricks so one of them you might have noticed is these cells you can only enter dates in here so how do you do that you go to da data validation and you say allow date and then you can put a custom error messages in here like list input a date and the same thing works for the emails, except it's a little different. So you go to data, data validation, custom, and then there's this formula, which you can find in the spreadsheet. Basically, that shows that it must be an email. So you can only put emails in there. Um, the colors change by conditional formatting. You can go see what the rules are by going to conditional formatting, manage rules, uh, this worksheet. So please so stay the same. If it's yes, change this color, make sure you have it applied to the whole range and so on. Um, so another question you may have is how does it work here? Right? So right, right now I have only weekends. If I go back to set up, um, I have this reset button, it'll reset the whole sheet. So first it asks like, are you sure it's gonna delete all the information? Say okay. Um, so let's change it to weekdays only. And let's pick uh, maybe a couple more days out. Okay. So let's generate this again. Uh, actually, my re my reset doesn't delete these yet, which I need to <laughs> fix that. But it's fine for this video. So as you can see now, the weekdays, it's only showing weekdays instead of weekends. Uh, so, but if you're looking closely, you can see hidden columns here. So if I unhide all these, So the secret lies in this formula here. So this, this date is being driven by this first date. And then these are all formulas, just adding one to this date. So it all goes up. So the day is then being driven by the date with this formula. If you want to do just like abbreviations, you can do just three letters or you add another letter, that's the whole date. Um, so this, the weekday formula will tell you what, what number of the week it is. So we go equals weekday on the date until the six. So Friday is six, Saturday is seven, Sunday one. So ones and sevens are weekends. So that's what this formula is saying. If the weekday, the number is one or seven. We're gonna put a W here for weekend. If it's not, put a D for day. So the weekdays are Ds and weekends are Ws. So then when the macro does, it just goes column to column. If there's a W in this row, it knows to hide it when you only wanna show the weekdays. Again, if you are free to go and look through all these macros here and everything's done there's there's the one that creates the schedule the reset macro 
sending the final result email and sending an email with the link. So feel free to go look through all those. And I think that's uh, pretty much it. So yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions, please uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and subscribe.